So in the past, your old NPC model trains, especially steamers, would sound like this. However, it's the 21st century, so they can sound just like this. It's the 21st century now. We can modernize our trains. Let's go check out this great northern MPC engine that I've modernized with command control technology. So sitting next to me here, I have two Lionel MPC locomotives. The first one here is a Great Northern Famous American Railroad Northern type engine. This is actually just a Berkshire or a post-war 736 style Berkshire with an extra wheel added to it. Sitting next to it is the Famous American Railroad Union Pacific Berkshire. I did a review on this uh, engine and the set of cars for it a couple of years ago now. So go check that out if you're interested in seeing this engine here. But this engine is stock, has the old puffer style smoke unit in it, a classic style bulb for the headlight, a mechanical E unit, an AC Pullmore motor, and then in the tender, it has the mighty sound of steam with the electronic whistle. And you just heard that at the beginning of the video. It's a very high pitched whistle and the chuff is kind of staticky. For some people, that's really cool. It's, it's nostalgic. That might be what they uh, played with growing up or they just like that old school kind of uh, technology in it. I think it's awesome, so that's why I've left it in mind. But some people want a more modernized piece of equipment. Uh, all these new legacy TMCC and Proto Sound equipped models have digital sounds that have great chuffing, amazing whistles, smoke features and LED lighting. And if you have a lot of those models, you might become accustomed to that. And then when you go to run your old trains, you're like, they're so basic, they're, they're old school. They don't, they don't fit in with my, my, uh, my current stuff that's all new with all the cool features. And there is a way to change that. You can modernize them by installing command controlled technology in it. I installed electric railroad uh, command control into this engine, which is TMCC with a rail sounds board, a new speaker, LED lighting, and then a fan driven smoke unit. And that has totally changed the way this engine uh, feels when you're running it. I also put elect an electro coupler on the tender so that you can fire the coupler from your TMCC or legacy remote. And that just has ch totally changed the way this model is. It feels like a modern piece of technology. While it does have the old AC Pullmore motor still, it is still just so much different from what it used to be. What it used to be is like what this old Union Pacific engine is. And here's a clip of it running now. So as you can see, it's, it's old school, you hear that mechanical uh, E unit buzz, there's the, uh, the static chuffing, that high pitch whistle, the basic smoke unit, and the headlight, and there's nothing wrong with that. It is a very nice piece, it, it, it runs fine, there's nothing wrong with it at all. But like I said, some people just don't want that old school feel out of their model. They might want the old school look, but they want a more modernized piece. So the customer that sent me this Great Northern engine said, make it as nice as possible. So that's what I did. I installed the command control and the tender and all that other technology. So before we run it around for a little and see how it is so much better than it used to be, let's take a look on the inside of this engine and see what I did to it. So starting out with the inside of the engine, it's very basic in here. Originally, there was the AC Pullmore motor, 
there was a mechanical E unit that stood right here and had the little lever that went up to this hole here. There was then a puffer style smoke unit with a little flapper arm that went up and down to puff the smoke out. And then there was a bulb that was attached to the front of the engine. I have now changed that. I have removed the mechanical E unit so there is no, there's no uh, E unit or control board inside the engine anymore. Instead, we have an LED headlight up here. I then have a fan-driven smoke unit right here attached to this custom-made brass bracket that I uh, soldered together and attached the smoke unit to. There is, of course, some neat wiring here that I have uh, heat shrink tubed and then I have a zip tie around it. And then back here is the AC motor like before. To connect all of this to the tender where all the magic happens, I have a custom made six pin tether and I have a little bit of heat shrink tubing around it so it looks nice when it's going in between the engine and the tender. This is a very basic setup. It works great and it's pretty much um, trouble free, I guess you could say, because there's not, there's not a lot of complication here. There's not a ton of boards. There's just a smoke unit, a light bulb, and a motor with some basic wiring. It's really nice as a person who works on models on a frequent uh, basis that the model just works. It's so cool to just see models work and not have any issues. And this is one of those cases where it's simple, it's easy to do, and I have a lot of fun doing it. If you're interested in any kind of work, my email is in my about section of my YouTube channel. So definitely uh, email me or send me a message on Instagram. You can also contact me there, but this was a very fun model to work on. So now let's move on to the tender where the magic happens. So here is the tender frame where I say all the brains of the technology are. So starting out, here is the other end of that tether. It has some more heat shrink tubing on it and the wires lead down to this board. This board is what we call an AC commander. It is a command control board that can control an AC motor. There's also a DC commander which has cruise control, but since this is an AC engine, you must use the AC commander. On top of it is the radio board. That's the, that's the brains. It's what takes the command control signal and turns it into movement or sounds or some kind of action. This wire right here leads down to the shell and inside the shell is the antenna. Since this is a plastic shell, I just attached it to the top with some glue and if I ever need to take the shell off and maintenance it, it just pops off. And there's also this little plug here that I could undo if I need to take the shell completely off. There's this red and black wire here and that runs all the way down to the back here where there's this electrocoupler. There's also these wires right here that lead down to a little sensor on the bottom of the tender. And if I flip over the tender, you can see that sensor right here. And there's a little magnet on the wheel here. There it is. You can see that little magnet. And that produces the chuff for the rail sounds that I've installed in this engine, which as you heard earlier, they sound really nice. And speaking of sounds, here is the sound setup in this engine. This right here is the rail sounds commander. It's rail sounds five. And I use the medium steam sounds in this engine because I feel it fit the engine very well. This is another board from Electric Railroad. And then behind it is the Electric Railroad Mini Fat Boy speaker with this little enclosure to give it some bass and power. And I would just attach that to the frame where the old speaker used to be. Overall, this is a very simple setup and it works really well. And this kind of setup could also be installed in a diesel. You can have diesel rail sound and a diesel with either a DC or an AC motor. You can install a commander that will control the motors. This does not only apply to steamers, but in this case, this is a steamer, so this is how I have it set up. Overall, this was a lot of fun to do. Very basic setup, and of course it works flawlessly. So let me put the shell back on, and then we can run around for a little and really see how nice this model is now. So I have my 
legacy remote here and I have this engine programmed in as a TMCC style engine and a cool feature with the legacy remote is when you go into the info section and you go to the control type for these electric railroad upgrades you can choose the R100 mode which gives these engines 100 speed steps for finer speed control which is pretty cool but enough of me talking let's turn it on listen to the sound see that amazing smoke unit in action and then run it around for a little basic uh, TMCC startup with the sounds turning on and in a few seconds here you'll probably see the smoke there we go the smoke unit works really well it's constantly on uh, I just decided that would be the best option for this engine you can also probably see the LED headlight at the front, which looks really nice. And then I just have some random freight cars uh, behind it to run with it. So uh, here's the whistle. Sounds amazing. I like that uh, medium steam sound whistle. Here's the bell. Even have some steam sounds. Kind of a blow down effect and then of course with the new technology you have crew talk sounds if you don't like them you don't have to use them but it's an it's an added feature why not you just have a little fun with your old uh, model train and hear some voices come out of them how's that track look are we clear over that's right the track is yours over Looks like we got an all clear head, so let's move it out. So as you can see, I've been able to breathe some new life into this old 70s MPC model. It sounds great, it runs great, the smoke is amazing, and of course we have that LED headlight. And of course at the back, I didn't show it, but I do have the electric coupler, so you can fire the coupler and disconnect your cars when you're running the engine from your command control remote. And it's just such a different model now. It's not old school, it's more up to date, it'll fit in with your newer models. And of course can now sit on the tracks without moving uh, with 18 volts applied. It'll sit there until you address it with the new with the command control uh, remote, uh, whether it's the legacy one or the cab one. And it's just amazing. And it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it because it was a basic upgrade. I was able to install new technology into something old. And it's interesting because I had that old Union Pacific a famous American Railroad MPC engine and they're very similar and it's cool seeing something you have with some updated technology or just something very different so overall I'm really happy with it the customers happy with it and if you guys are ever interested in work like this uh, like I said send me an email or message me on Instagram and we can talk about things and see what I can do for you uh, and your models uh, but I hope you enjoyed and as always like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Comment below and tell those about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.